Hi there, and welcome to Top Tips with Tomska. I'm here with Chris. Chris. And today we're going to give you some top tips on what to do in the event of a heavily bleeding wound. Yes. <laughs> ah! What? Did you just stab me? If you've been stabbed, it's very important not to panic. Sweet mother of butts it buns! Did you cover the blade in salt? The first thing you need to do is put pressure on your pain hole to stop or slow the flow of blood, no matter how salty or delicious it might be. Did you lace this knife with tiny bees? Just keep pressure on the wound. Hold it all in and never let go, like you're repressing dark fantasies. Ah! The salty bees are in my face! Now call for an ambulance. If you live in the UK, dial 999. They're in my eyes! If you live in the US, dial 911. Buzzing in my eyes! If you live in another country, so sorry. <laughs> I need an ambulance! Okay, you want mushrooms on that? What did you do to my phone? Here are some top tips for passing the time waiting for an ambulance. Read a book, write a book, book a holiday for your book, or think about what you've done to deserve this. A uh, large pizza with mushrooms? Oh, wow, that was quick. Well, it sounded like an emergency. Wait, what did you mean by deserve this? If you happen to come across someone bleeding their treacherous life away, you can help them by applying pressure to their wound, like the unrelenting pressure from the voices in your head. Uh... Oh, there are even more bees in the pizza! And now for some top tips on how to avoid getting stabbed in the first place. Why would you put bees in a pizza? One, don't go down dark alleyways. Two, avoid making eye contact with old ladies. And three, don't eat my sandwich. Is that what this was about? Is that what this was about? What is wrong with you? Next week, top tips on what to do with a dead body. Bye-bye.